Well, yes, it is the time of year where our diets can be sabotaged so easily at every turn. And joining me today is registered dietitian April Graff with Hy-Vee Food Stores. And April, let alone the food, also some of the beverages we choose this time of year can really wreak havoc on a diet. They can, you know, we made it through the holidays yeah. all right. And upcoming is the New Year's holiday, which is known for being a little over the top in some of those drinks. And you're right, a lot of the fancy, maybe sweeter drinks can really wreak havoc on mm -hmm. um, on your diet. You know, some of the drinks can have 400, 500, 600 calories, mostly from sugar. Mm. Um, and so some great tips would be, one, smaller glasses <laughs> or less quantity. Yes. Um, but when you are choosing to drink a glass of wine, whether it be white or red wine, are nice mm -hmm. choices as are like a light beer or lager. Um, and then there's some fun different drinks, right? We're, now we're all about celebrating and having fun yes. for New Year's Eve. Um, you know, so don't be afraid to get out some of the mixers, but I really like LaCroix or other um, t carbonated sparkling waters mm -hmm. that you can do because you get a little of that taste and flavor, some of that fun fizz that we love yeah. um, for New Year's without any of the calories and added sugars um, that you'll get there. So. Feel free to play around. I like to mix a little white wine with my personal favorite, passion fruit, uh, sparkling water. So you'll stir that out, fill that up. Add a few fun berries because ah. they look pretty. They don't add a ton of taste and flavor, but they look really nice. Um, and then fill up the rest of your glass with some white wine. That makes for a really great, fun drink. If you want to keep it PG, you can always go for a uh, berry blend juice or other appropriate beverage. That way you'll stay, stay with your diet, but still enjoy the evening. All right, we'll put these tips and more for you on the website. Just go to KEYC.com slash community.